Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store and closet name is El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O, and you can find me on Instagram at El Ducho Thrift. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you like reselling content and videos, hit the button down below. And if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up on your way out. I appreciate it. So today I am back with part two of my LA bins haul. <laughs> so as you may have seen in my last video, or if you haven't seen that, check it out. I thrifted just about 500 pounds of clothing from the Goodwill outlet. To hear more about that story, like I said, check out my other video. So I have a lot of stuff naturally and I am breaking it up into a few different parts. And so yeah, this is part two. <laughs> um, I don't have anything else to say. If you're interested in buying anything from one of my hauls, you can check out my stores to see if it's listed or you can email me directly. My email is down below in the description. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, instead of like saving the best for last, because I think so much of the stuff that I have in here is good, I'm going to show something really awesome at the beginning, which you may have seen in the thumbnail, and that is this Gucci bag. <sighs> All right, so <laughs> here, here it is. This is it. Dun, 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 dun. It's kind of hard to see because white, the ring light, it kind of washes it out. However, yeah, I found this bag in a big blue bin. So they had rolled out a couple different carts of embroidered hats. I've got a couple back there and I'm gonna show some more in my next video because I actually took a bunch of them home with me. But they rolled out these hats and so when they rolled them out, it was supposed to be just hats in that bucket, but I saw this white bag in there. And everyone I think was so focused on the hats that they weren't really looking at everything else that was there. However, I spotted this very quickly and I snatched it. And yeah, and so I got it back to my cart and I was like, huh, it says Gucci and you know, I opened it up and I was like, you know, it looks kind of like older, like maybe a vintage bag. It says Gucci made in Italy on the inside and here. And then I looked on this side and there is a serial number. So I showed my friend Ty and my friend Laura and Ty thought that it looked real or that's what she told me that she said. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, of course I bought it and I brought it home and I actually use the website Real Authentication. There's probably lots of different places that you can get things authenticated. However, I use that. Uh, it costs $20 and guess what? It's real. So that's really awesome. Uh, Laura was really excited about it because, you know, there's been that mini bag trend of like celebrities carrying like tiny little bags. Could be on its way out, but guess what? Gucci's still on its way in. So. I'm excited, not sure what I'm going to list this for, I need to do more research, yeah, but this is the first item, so <laughs> I'm super excited about that. So we'll set that back here, ta-da. Um, another item that I got, and this one's a random one just before I get into the clothing, but <laughs> I figured I'd show it to you because this is something I actually got, but it's this box of soap, and I'm just going to keep this for myself. I did look up comps and I probably could get like 15 to $20 on it. They're Italian soaps made in Tuscany. And the reason I got them is because when I opened up the box, as you can see, they're brand new and they're like super nice soaps. They're carved, can't really see it that well, but they're carved, uh, they're rose scented and I couldn't help myself. I was like, these can't go to the landfill. They're perfectly new unused soaps. And the last random item before I get into the clothing that I'll show you is this little train, which you're like, why would you buy a little wooden train? However, this is a, if I can find it, a Brio train. And I mean, I recognize this from my youth. We had a Brio train set. And I know that Brio trains at that time weren't cheap. And so now today they're still not cheap. So anyways, I did look up comps and I think this guy, he's the Santa Fe and he's not in perfect condition. There's obviously like wear to him, but I think it was still worth like 20 or so dollars. And for, you know, and so little to put in my suitcase. I grabbed it. All right, now into the clothing haul. Let's do this. Okay, so the first item I have is this Free People cardigan. It's a size medium. It's this chunky knit ivory with pockets. <laughs> set it. Where do I want to set it? Where's the pile going to be? Let's put it there. Okay, next item I have is this paper crane hoodie jacket thing. <laughs> it's a size medium. It's kind of cool. It gives me like lagging look vibes does have a hood here. 
It's got the raw hem. So yeah, there's that. Okay, this next item, I just thought this was really fun. The comps, I looked up on it. I mean, I didn't see anything crazy. However, I just like the style of it. It's kind of like, gives me like Southwest vibes. It's this wool vest. The brand is called Solutions Original and it is 60% wool. So yeah, there's that. Next item I grabbed was, you know, I don't know if I looked up the comps on this, but I thought the tag looked nice. So it's gonna be a surprise for me when I list it. If you know this to be a good one, put it in the comments down below. Beat me to the punch. But it says, Skayest Taylor. The gloves are off. California eccentric, size medium. It's made in China. I'm already gonna guess right now that it is wool because that's what it appears to be. It's got a fancy looking tag. It's 30% wool, 20% alpaca, 15% mohair, and then a polyamide blend. But the tag, you can't really see it, but it's it looks fancy. So I'm feeling confident. Maybe too confident. <laughs> okay, so the next item is this Levi's denim. I think this is a men's button-down shirt. I have sold button-down men's Levi's shirts before. This one's not vintage or anything. I just liked the dark rinse on it, and I kind of just thought it was in style. So, yeah. Okay, this, <laughs> I can't remember the comps on it. <laughs> so I think it's a good brand. It's called Richard Tyler Couture. However, there are flaws to this item. So it's a black blazer, like tuxedo style blazer, but there are like moth holes on it. They're small, they're like on the sleeves here and stuff. So I kind of didn't notice that till too late. However, I don't know, maybe it's a style, man. Maybe we can sell it that way. <laughs> um, it's a size six and yeah, it's wool. So that's why there's moth holes. It's wool and then the lining is 100% silk. So you know what? We'll just see what we can get for this. Reminds me of what I tell my son. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. You ever heard that? <laughs> um, speaking of being a mom. So I had to grab this. It's a Zara sweatshirt. It's a size US small and it just felt appropriate. Okay, next item. Because everything can't be high end, you know, this is Victoria's Secret Pink, and it's just a nightgown. It's size large, and I like picking up Victoria's Se Secret Pink items if they're cute, and I figured, you know what, we're going into the holiday season. Somebody might like that, so, you know. Okay, this next one, I don't remember the comps on this one either, but I believe they were good. So the brand is called Kerr Bell, and it's a size four. Now, I don't think that there's a material tag on here, no, there is. That's what, you're right. I found it later, Denali. <laughs> it's 100% silk. It's this really pretty dress. So it's got this V-neck and then it's sleeveless and a little bit of a high-low hem. Yeah, just a pretty dress. Oh gosh, things are falling. Okay, the next one, I hadn't heard of this brand before, but I remember Ty saying something about it while we were at the bins. But anyways, it's called Cal's. I just liked it for the print. There's little pencils. I thought this is a fun little back to school shirt. <laughs> However, there is a flaw that I didn't notice till I got home and that is it's missing one of the buttons. But to be honest, if you wore it kind of unbuttoned like this with like a camisole underneath, it wouldn't really matter. But it easily could be, you know, put a button there. Um, all right, sorry, out of frame. The next two items. So this actually, Ty picked this next item up and we were gonna give it to our friend Laura and then we didn't end up seeing her before we left and it couldn't go to the trash. So I took it, I loved it so much. But it is this vintage bustier, I don't know what this would be, bra. How beautiful is this? And the detailing on it, how sweet is it? It's so pretty. Uh, the brand is called <laughs> Jezebel Renee of Hollywood, made in USA. The size, I don't know what it is. I have no idea, so that'll be a fun project. Oh, it does say 6940, then with a space, 34F. I don't know, I'll do some research. I couldn't not take it. This one's a fun one. So it's, let's see if I say it right. Hervé, Hervé Leger, is that how you say it? Hervé Leger, Paris. Uh, this is a size medium large and it's a wrap. I don't know if it's gonna fit me because it's a medium large, but anyways, 
it does have sleeves, so it's kind of like a card. I don't want to put my hand through it because I have my wedding ring on and it'll mess it up. But anyways, yeah. And then it's got these really long drapey parts here in the front. I don't know if you would like tie it up or what you would do. I know that this brand is known or popular for their bandage style dress that they make, um, but I'm fairly certain it's a really good brand besides that dress, so. Okay, next item I have is this Trina Turk dress. So this must be um, an older style or a vintage tag. It's called, it says Miss T by Trina Turk. I'm guessing that's the case. I didn't find a material tag on here, but this feels like silk. And then the size also wasn't on here. So is it on here? Oh, it's a sample. It says sample. Yeah. So I'll just have to measure it. If I had to guess, this looks like an eight or a 10 maybe, but it's just a pretty dress. So this, I probably would have or should have thrown it back, but I think I didn't notice the flaw in it till I got it home. But it's a theory skirt with this ruching here on the side. However, the hem has come unstitched. It's actually fine and like you could wear it assuming that your shirt would cover the this band around here like you wouldn't want to wear it tucked in I mean it could be repaired but anyways it's theory it's a size it says P dash TP so I'm guessing it's a small is what that means okay this next item my friend Laura gave this to me so I think I've talked about Laura on my channel before she does have a YouTube channel um, that you should go subscribe to. She's really awesome. She's like the sweetest gal. We just stumbled upon her and met her one day when we were at the LA bins and we made her be, Ty and I made her be our friend. So I love her and she gave me these shorts. So I actually didn't look up the comps because Laura has impeccable taste and I just was like, sure, thank you. <laughs> um, but she had seen my video where I had talked about that my house had recently flooded and or it had a flood in it, whatever. Anyways, she wanted to send me some clothes, which is super sweet. And anyways, I ended up being in LA, so she just gave me some stuff. So apparently this is like a brand, I, I'm not sure it's pronounced, but to me it looks like I am Gia, but maybe that's pronounced some other way. These are size two, and they're shorts, and I trust Laura that they're gonna be good, and it's gonna be a delightful surprise when I look up comps. <laughs> so thank you, Laura. I'll link her channel down below. All right, uh, next item is these hardtail the brand is called hardtail i've sold it before these are size extra small and they're tie-dye i guess you could call them capri pants i like to call these shants they're not shorts they're not pants they're sh short pants chance <laughs> okay um another thing that i keep my eye on out for now at the bins which i didn't used to but then seeing my like going thrifting with my friends and seeing what they look for helped me open my eyes. But anyways, this is a robe. Obviously when I'm looking for robes, I'm looking for barefoot dreams. But this one said RH and I know that RH. That's Restoration Hardware. And what do I know about Restoration hard Hardware? It's not cheap. I have a couch from them. I think it's the couch from them. Anyways, maybe it's a rug. Whatever the case is, it was, it was expensive. This is a size medium. And yeah, I did look up comps on it. They were good. Can't remember what they were. Sorry. Uh, this is another theory item. It's a size large. It's a white blazer. This is, I believe, the older tag. The older tag is more, the letters are spaced out more. So that's how you know that. This next item, this is an American Apparel trench coat. It's a size medium large and it's really pretty, but unfortunately, and it's like super drapey and it's really pretty. Um, however, there are some markings here on the back. Not sure if they could come out. It, it, it does say dry clean only. I know that there are methods of dry cleaning items at home. I'm not going to do it. I don't even have a washer and dryer right now. Again, my house flooded. You can watch that video. If you're watching this video 10 years from now, it won't make sense. But <laughs> I'm just going to sell it as is and somebody else can pay to get it dry cleaned. There's a lot of dust. Okay, next item is, I think this is a vintage item, but I'm not sure. Uh, it just reminded me of my youth, and so that's why I bought it. I had a dress like this that I used to play dress up in when I was little. But it's, I don't know, I don't know what you would call this, but to me it reminds me of like a little Spanish style dress. It's just super pretty. It's, not sure what the material is. 
I don't know. And there are some like mild stains like right here. Not sure if it would come out in like a soak or something. But anyways, it's just really pretty and I, I loved it and it remind literally I had that dress but in white and I used to dress up when I was little. So, you know, nostalgia. There's a lot of money in nostalgia, guys. <laughs> okay, this next brand is called Collusion. This is a size US 10. I love this dress. Like once I put it on my dress form and I photographed it, I was like, oh my gosh, this dress is so beautiful. But anyways, that's what the tag looks like. Not sure where it's sold. If I had to guess, I'm going to guess it's sold at Revolve because I found quite a few pieces of Revolve. But anyways, it's this yellow dress. It's like a party dress. It is short, form fitting with these puffy sleeves, like the puffy shoulder here, kind of cut out thing in the back. Beautiful dress. I love it. Okay, next item is a French Connection dress. I don't always pick up French Connection, but this piece was really cute. It is a size 10, and it's a halter plaid. What do you call this? Is this like madras? Is that what this like type of plaid is called? I feel like that's right. <laughs> but it's got, can you see this gold like stitching in here? What would they call it? Mm, metallic, what is it? Would it be like lurex? call it lorax am i making this up <laughs> lorax not lorax i know it's not that let's see 95 percent cotton 0.5 percent fill oh meta metalli i must be reading it <laughs> i'm reading it in like french or something okay it's 99.5 percent cotton and 0.5 percent metal it says metallized fibers there you go but anyways it's just a really pretty Holder dress. I couldn't not buy it. Okay, this dress is a brand that I'm not sure. I think this was like my first time finding it, as the case with a lot of these, but it's called And Other Stories. And this one says Paris Atelier. I know that means something, but please let me know. Uh, but, anyways, yeah, just a really pretty white dress. And it's a size. Oh, awesome. They cut off the size, so I'll figure it out. If I had to guess, it looks like a small, like a small. Um, sorry, drop some more stuff. Okay, so this is another brand. I'm putting my leg up here. If you could see me, I look like the, um, Cap. is it Captain Morgan? Like the alcohol? Is that what it's called? Captain Morgan? Where <laughs> he puts his foot up. Anyways. Okay. Laura told me that this was a good brand. I think this is the one you told me, Laura. So it's called Free City Let's Go Together. Life, Nature, Love. I'm pretty sure this is the one she told me. I didn't even look up comps. Laura said it was good. I believe her. But these are a pair of sweatpants. There were a couple of flaws, minor, like a little blue spot there, which I'll just, just disclose. But anyways, these are a size zero slash extra small. Okay, next is not something that initially seems crazy special. They're assets, which these are a like lower division of Spanx and they're sold at Target. However, even when they're sold at Target, they're still really expensive, not really expensive, but they're like 30 bucks. So if I can even sell this for like 15 to 25, that's a good sale that I'm happy with. Okay, next item is this dress, which is inside out, <laughs> which I thought to myself at the time, I was like, oh, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to flip that Denali. Okay. The brand is called Gypsy 05, and I have sold this brand before. It's a size medium, and it is silk, and it's super pretty. It's long, dun, 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 dun. and I think it has pockets, which I was kind of bummed, because when I photographed it, I didn't photograph. Usually I'll try and photograph like the pocket, so it's visible, so I'm just gonna have to include that, but I love this. This is super pretty, and silk, if I didn't say silk. I'm not sure if I said what size it was either, but oh well. Okay, next item. All right, so these are, they don't look like much, but yeah, right? You're gonna be like, what the heck did you buy here? And it's more, it's got it more here. However, I bought these because they are big E Levi's. So can you see that there? Right there, there's a large capitalized E. So usually it's not capitalized. However, they used to make them as a capitalized E, and so that is like a vintage pair. Now, they have done a reissue, I think, 
with a capitalized E, so you want to check. But I think even the reissue still has some value to it. So it's Levi's, obviously it's the brand. Now, I am fairly certain that these are vintage. Um, there's no information in here. There's no tags. You know, like sometimes you can tell because there will be a tag and you know, with like a bunch of Japanese writing or Chinese writing on there, which obviously would mean it's a newer item. It's got that ripped off. So I don't know. I was like doing a little bit of research into it. If you haven't seen the documentary, it's called Blue Gold on Netflix. Write it down. Watch it. You will learn everything you want to know about denim and more. But anyways, there's no writing on here. I did check the inside hem to see if they're selvage and they're not selvage. So if they were, there would be red stitching right here, but they're not selvage, which would bring more value to them. And then what's the other thing? Oh, there was something called something about a tack. I want to say like back tack or bar tack. I'm sorry. I don't remember exactly, but basically it would have to do with on the inside of the back pocket here, they used to put these like little tacks, like basically they have them on the, the front. So these, do you see these like little silver circles? So if there were some here on the inside of these back pockets that would bring more value to them, however, they're not there. So just things to note and things to look for when you're buying denim or Levi's especially. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what they'll go for. I don't know. I might put them up on auction because obviously I showed you they are highly distressed, <laughs> meaning they're really messed up. Um, but yeah, Levi's can hold their value e even as pieces of scraps. If you're thinking like, no, not scraps, Denali. No, really. Go watch that documentary. You'll be like, whoa, even a little one inch scrap of Levi's can have value. Okay, moving on. This is a little kid's sweater. It's just super cute. It is Zara and it says winter collection, fancy collection. Oh my gosh, it's the fancy collection. Anyways, it's for a six year old and I thought it was adorable, so I bought it. Um, This is a Madewell denim skirt. It's a size four and it's got these snaps down the front. Super cute. Next is a pair of Adriana Goldschmied jeans. These are the legging ankle, super skinny ankle. They are a 28R and they're, yeah, they're in good condition. And what's next? Okay, these are another pair of Levi's. I bought them because they just looked really cool and they were in great condition. This is what I was talking about, like being a tag in here with a bunch of possibly writing in different languages. This one doesn't have any like, sometimes I'll see it like with a lot of like, at whether it's Chinese or Japanese writing in here. But anyways, these are a pair of 5.11s and they're in really, like really good condition. Like, I don't know if somebody wore them condition. So, oh, do you wanna know the size? Just in case you're curious. They are a size 32.30. Okay, next is a pair of Rag & Bone shorts. The It says Rag & Bone for Intermix and they are the destroyed army color. <laughs> they're size 24, but they're little shorty shorts. Very shorty shorts. Okay, next item is, wow, ooh, a lot of dust going on in here. <laughs> These are Robert Geller plus 5'4". I can't remember what the comps are on these. They were good enough that I was like, okay, I'll bring them home. They're men's jeans. They're a size 32 slim. I don't know, gray. I gotta have something for the dudes, so I brought it home. These are a pair of page jeans. They're a size 30, the Manhattan, and they're black. They're in really good condition. The color is not faded, so that's great. And then speaking of a faded black, <laughs> I've got these All Saints jeans, the Grace with a waist of 24. I'm like, that is... There we go. That, that's the waist. Look at that. Hey girl, if you're a 24 waist, that's awesome. Um, but anyways, yeah, they're just like a little skinny. So, all right, that was part two. <laughs> I'm thinking there's gonna probably be two more parts. 
maybe yeah I'm just like looking at the pile on the ground and I'm like mm, I'm gonna have to divide that in two because it's just gonna be too much so in my next hauls anticipate a little bit more definitely more clothing and some accessories and some shoes you know I don't love picking up shoes but I'll pick them up if they're decent shoes so <laughs> all right I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk with you later bye